Hello, HWA fans watching on YouTube and Facebook. Scare Moxley with you, you're soon to be. Seriously? How in the hell does that happen? Hold on a second. Is Don in the truck? Why didn't we shoot that Help Wanted video at the end of last year? Hey, hey, bumpies or no bumpies, it was made clear by management there would be an off-season. Hey, you know, you know that that was my community service. That wasn't done for money. I don't just prostitute myself to anybody. Look, what I'm trying to say, the, the what I'm trying to say, the point is, at the end of last season, after we did the last free preview report, you were supposed to remind me that we were to record a help wanted at the prospective employers. I was going to spend all of last off season. Have you seen the fucking paychecks this company hands out? They are stenciled graham crackers. I'm going to be living in a house come a week from Sunday with five illegitimate in-laws, and I'm getting paid in bakery junk! <laughs> yeah, Keebler elves, funny. Keebler fucking elves. You know what else is funny? Me kicking you in the testes and watching your balls drop, beaver press! Well, I hope you had a good off-season, folks. I certainly did not, hence the beard. There are people who prefer a good long break to relax, rest, splurge. There are people who prefer those same amenities, who also have talents that have been left to waste, who cannot afford to take a damn break! You know what those calls for? Musical teleportation. Took me ten years to work out the kinks, but it finally happened. Thank you, Toys R Us. Uh, go on to serious business. After four months of seemingly sustained silence in the world of the Hybrid Wrestling Alliance, aside from a couple of columns in the Streeter Times newspaper about HWA, and of course our inaugural Fuel Efficient Mother Bumper Awards in January, the fight is about to reconvene again. On St. Patrick's Day, nonetheless. This Saturday, March 17th, the Hybrid Wrestling Alliance returns to its home, the House of Hybrid, in Streeter, Illinois, for the first free per view event of the year and first show overall in 2012, Spring Breakout 2012. And this is your free per view report for this Saturday's season premiere event, Spring Breakout. If you've never seen the free per view report before, it is essentially your pregame fix. It's everything you need to know about the next big spectacular from the Hybrid Wrestling Alliance. Nice to see our trained monkeys gave us an upgrade to pass off season, complete with a logo and an intro video and anything else we could have afforded to slip through the back door. It shouldn't be the only change you'll see this season. We should expect plenty of things to evolve or debut in the next seven to eight months. The HWA is only getting bigger and better. When we last came to you from the House of Hybrid back in November at Total Eclipse, fans, commentators, management, and the hybrid roster alike 
were left scratching their heads over issues that were evidently unresolved. Of course, I'm referring to the sequence of events that occurred at the conclusion of Madman WK and Lotus's Last Man Standing match. Not only did Madman and Lotus duel to a double countout, but in the aftermath of the match, Jimmy Jack Daniels surprisingly laid waste to both the King Midas and the Silent Killer, and he was not alone in doing so. Close to a month ago, I had a chance to speak with HWA champion and co-owner Brian Phoenix back at the House of Hybrid. He was left confused and close to speechless at the end of Total Eclipse, and when I asked him about Total Eclipse, his answer had echoed said confusion. Um, they look familiar, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't get a chance to get very close to them, um, uh, or at least to get a good look at them. Um, I don't, I don't know how many family members Jimmy Jack has, but, uh, I, I doubt they're, uh, members of his family, but, um, uh, I guess only time will tell, and, uh, Jimmy Jack doesn't, you know, work with somebody that he's not very close to. So it's spring breakout when we'll probably see more of him and hopefully he can give us the answers we're looking for. Madman WK was notably not at the Bumpies. He is currently in the old country. His future in HWA is currently in question. Jimmy Jack Daniels was at the Bumpies, though he only went as far as to say 2012 would be, in his words, chaotic. Lotus and Phoenix were also in attendance at the Bumpies, and cameras briefly caught both men in private conversation during intermission. I asked Brian what transpired in the chit-chat, and all Phoenix stated was that Lotus had an idea concerning Spring Breakout, but he did not want to make those plans public. So obviously there's been no indication from any side as to why, Jimmy, why, but at Spring Breakout, whatever it is that has been teased by Lotus, will be one of the things to watch out for. So we were left with a lot more questions than answers after the end of our first season, Why Jimmy Why being one of them. This we know for sure. Three matches have been officially signed and sealed for Spring Breakout 2012 this Saturday, one of which rehashes a rivalry that we saw in the ring four separate times last year, and it never gets old. The original backyard luchador Pancho and the Cabbage Patch Kid Icky Thump will once again meet face to face. However, they will not be alone. In six-man tag team action, Pancho will be joined by his familia, the drunken backyard luchador Cerveza and Alberto Grande, whose tits are further proof that Wolford Brimley will never help insure illegal immigrants. Icky Thump will be joined by his fellow Nintendude, the Power Star, and his new best friend and co-holder of the Bumpy Award for LOL Moment of the Year, The Man. Pancho and Icky Thump are essentially at even Stevens in their feud. Both men have scored two victories over the other, and even though Pancho was not one of the surviving members of his team in the Survivor Series elimination match back at Total Eclipse, a win is a win. And it should be a fun encounter anytime you have the Familia, Icky, and The Man involved. Another match confirmed for Spring Breakout will not be fun. Since last October, it has been nothing but mass warfare between the Syndicate of Salvation and the Juggalos. This was all brought on the scene after Lotus was put on the shelf at Golden Opportunity and made his return at Scars and Stripes with the mission to destroy SOS. Lotus was not alone in the fight, as behind him were two men who the Silent Killer himself brought into the Hybrid Wrestling Alliance. Kid Kia and devastating Dane Dempsey. He and 3D, without a doubt, were the two most impressive fresh faces on the hybrid roster in 2011. That message was driven home at Total Eclipse when they put down Dimitri and Minion to win collectively their first championship in HWA, the tag team titles. Also, not to be sneezed at, the duo won Tag Team of the Year at the Buffies, and 3D also won Newcomer of the Year. Meantime, SOS has undergone their own facelift. At Total Eclipse, Madman WK was forced out of the group, and in his place rose the new leader, the demon from Gulfport, Mississippi, Dimitri. Change came with a price, as later that day, SOS lost the last piece of gold that they held, that Dimitri and Minion were dethroned as the tag champs. The rematch clause has been invoked by SOS, and so once more it will be SOS versus the Juggalos, 
as SOS will try and reclaim the Tag Team Championship from Kid Kia and 3D this Saturday. However, there is one difference. Dimitri will not be tagging up with his partner, Minion. Taking Dimitri's place will be the former six-time hardcore champion, The Freak. He's no longer Madman's right-hand man, but he will be in Minion's corner at Spring Breakout as he looks to add to his personal record of championship reigns in his career. And of course, there is the main event, and anticipation could not be higher for a rematch that is almost one full year in the making. At last year's Spring Breakout, the event played host to an eight-man single elimination tournament to crown a first-ever HWA champion. The tourney, and more so our company, was kicked off by Mike Houston versus Brian Phoenix. Phoenix made Houston tap out, and at the end of that day, Brian Phoenix walked out as our inaugural HWA champion. Houston walked out that day vowing to one day wear the very belt that our co-owner holds now. That day might be this Saturday on St. Paddy's Day as Phoenix and Houston square off again one year after they laid the foundation for HWA with the HWA championship firmly at the threshold of this year's contest. You know the backstory very well as to how this match got set up. Brian Phoenix saved his career by just the margin of a shoelace at Backyard Domination when Uncle Cletus' three count was overturned in the match with Madman WK. With one last Phoenix rising, Brian Phoenix became a three-time HWA champion. Mike Houston earned the number one contender spot by having to make his brother Kyle Cash utter the words, I quit, at Total Eclipse, in a classic battle that has the second most views of any match on our YouTube channel. But more importantly, it was voted on by the HWA fans as match of the year at the Bumpies. It is match of the year that both Mike Houston and Brian Phoenix are striving for in their rematch for the title this Saturday. Last month I got the chance to talk to both the challenger and the champion on separate occasions. We spoke to Houston at his training grounds, which indeed looked like a combat zone, complete with thumbtacks. And we spoke to Phoenix at the House of Hybrid, and at the time the facility looked very much like it needed good housekeeping. Here are some assorted highlights from their respective interviews as they talk strategy, preparation, and determination. Oh yeah, because this year it's for the title. It's not a tournament, um, it's not a mystery opponent. I'm not Marvelous Mike Houston, I'm Mike Houston. I have the Houston Nation with me going into this one and uh, I'm sure we're gonna get a mixed reaction so it's going to kind of be hard to base this off of, you know, the fan support. Although, as I said at the Bumpies, I respect Phoenix, but it isn't so much about respect. It's about proving who is better, who's better now. So I said it's one year in the making, a lot can change in one year. I certainly have stepped up my game. I know he has. He made me tap out last year, and uh, if he gets me in that cross face this year, I'm not tapping. So, but if I get him in the arm bar, I'm not letting go, and I'm not letting up. When I first wrestled him at Spring Breakout, he was, uh, I'll be honest with you, he was a douchebag. <laughs> he was Marvelous Houston, it was all about him, he didn't give a, he didn't care about anybody. It was all about him, and, um... I don't, I don't like people like that, you know what I mean? So when he came back, I, I at first when I heard Mike Houston's returning to HWA, I'm like, oh great, it's going to be the same marvelous Mike Houston, but this guy was a totally different guy. He looked like, you know, he had a good outlook on everything. He, he was emba embracing the fans, and uh, he came back swinging, you know. And honestly, I felt that he earned number one contender at Total Eclipse. It wasn't a decision that was made, you know, a couple, you know, weeks before. That was pretty much spur of the moment. I felt, you know what, he deserves the next title shot. So why don't we do it Spring Breakout 2012? Well, we did it Spring Breakout 2011, if not do more. And I'm looking forward to this match personally. I plan to go balls to the wall on this. So Phoenix, he's got to keep up with me or he's going to be left behind in the dirt. Um, 
you know, in that spring breakout, which was a year ago, he kept up with me pretty good. But as I said, I have stepped my game up. Well, there's his, uh, I'm not sure what he calls it, but uh, it's not on TV, it's the bro kick. He can get that thing out of nowhere. So that's one move you gotta you gotta keep an eye open. That's a, that's a move that can be an instant momentum changer in there. Um, I felt the arm breaker. I felt the walls of Houston. It's not fun. I guess the arm bar would be the move to watch out for because he se it's I guess he seems set on making me submit since I made him submit at the first show. Um, he knows how the cross face feels and he knows I can I can slap that on anytime. So I guess if he feels it'll come down to submissions, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't necessarily want to reveal my strategy because there are a lot of different ways I can end it. I got the Phoenix Rising. I have the Lights Out. I have the T-Bone Plex. I have the Cross Face. I've been known to use the Sharpshooter. Um, and there's also a couple of moves I've been working on this offseason. For the most part, I'm going to keep everything the same except... You know, I do have a few new submissions on the technical side. I'm not going to talk much about, but I did step my technical game up. There are people who say that they're going to come in here and be the HWA champion. And there are people who become the HWA champion. I'm looking forward to this match, but I'm not taking it lightly. I'm going to go in there. We're going to have a great match. I would love to have match of the year. But after everything I went through to get this belt back, I don't intend on giving it up just like that. I know you'll be at your best. And I'll be at my best. So come March 17th, I'm going to give these HWA fans, the HWA locker room, and the, and the YouTube fans watching right now, we're going to give them something that they're going to remember. For a long time. When it comes to popularity, adapting to different styles of wrestling, and overall appreciation for the business, this showdown is going to be a toss up, one way or the other. Needless to say, there is not much more to say. We're ready to go. I'm ready to go. The HWA roster is ready to start another year at the House of Hybrid, and we hope that you are able to join us for our season opener. Spring Breakout 2012, this Saturday, March 17th, on St. Patrick's Day at our regularly scheduled free preview time, 2 p.m. on the dot from the House of Hybrid in Streeter, Illinois. Again, 2 p.m. at the House of Hybrid, the HWA's home. So much is expected to go down at Spring Breakout that will shape the immediate future of the Hybrid Wrestling Alliance. We hope that you will not miss a minute of the action this Saturday and right throughout the year. It's really going to heat up in these first two shows of 2012. WrestleMania season is also upon us. The adrenaline is pumping for that. Our season premiere of Saturday Mayhem is slated for the day before WrestleMania 28. That's March 31st at 2 p.m. All around, it is a fun time to be a wrestler or a wrestling fan. I want to remind you folks watching this free preview report that if you would like to follow the Hybrid Wrestling Alliance, or if you're going to miss spring break out this Saturday for whatever reason, make sure to check us out on our YouTube and Facebook pages. For our online viewers, spring break out will be posted on both sites beginning on March 18th, the day after the free preview event. For more information on HWA, go to youtube.com backslash HWA Wrestling Online and subscribe. Every show from last year and spring break out upcoming will be available in playlist form for your convenience. So go right ahead and sample the archives. Everything is up and running. Facebook keywords are HWA Hybrid Wrestling Alliance. Things are only going to get bigger and better for us as the years go by. From the city park in Streeter, which is blindingly beautiful for you folks at home, although it is very... Oh, what do I know? I don't know the source, but I might actually start doing these reports outside more often. This keeps you from being pissed and antisocial and from having hard ons. Scare Moxley for your Spring Breakout 2012 report. We will see you Saturday from 9th Street at the House of Hybrid for Spring Breakout. Foundations are built by men with similar missions. From Mike Houston and Brian Phoenix. 
they are united by one. The hardest fighting competitor we've ever seen. He has been bound by the mission. One day, I will be the HWA champion. He has embraced it. I fight for honor. I fight for dignity. I fight for the HWA. It's Spring Break out for one year anniversary. We do it the way we started. It's damn real. It is a championship bout befitting of a season premiere. A rematch built on history and prestige. Two men who laid the foundation of Hyper. But what will they do? For an encore. Ever hear the expression, bumpin' uglies? Life's ugly. Bump everything. A little bit more life! Why not? Ah! Kiss! Ah! Oh! Got him out! Ah! No! Oh! Ah! 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 Charge! Ah! 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 The HWA. Bump everything.